Hey, this is Captain Ramius, back again with EVE Online. Hey, if you like this content, if you want to see the game from an Alpha clone's perspective, then join this channel. Uh, give me a like, subscribe, and share. Check out the referral link below. I get a little kickback, you get a million skill points. That's what keeps the world going round. So let's take a look at my first hour or so in the game. Alright, so as you can see, I've got about a million isk. You can take a look at all the green isk that came in. The game is quite generous at this point when you first start the game. Uh, the game starts off a little bit slow. I would say the intro and the uh, tutorial is a little bit slow. Of course, my background, I joined EVE Online a long time ago. I have an Omega account here and there. Uh, billions of ISK in, in, on those accounts. But now I wanted to see the game from the Alpha Clone's perspective. So all these green entries are ISK coming in. And now I've got about a million, which is quite generous. I started out with my Velator, and we can take a look at, at this ship. Let's just take a look at the fit. So, as you can see, I made enough ISK in the game to upgrade this ship a bit. You can also see that I've got drones. Couldn't use them uh, yesterday when I first started this count. Uh, but I have hoped to remedy that a bit by queuing up some skills. Looks like I've got drone skills now, so I should be able to use those drones. Let's take a look at that real fast. And the requirements. Uh, yep, I can use those drones on the Velator, which is not a bad starting ship for doing uh, missions, doing enforcer missions, or for doing industrialist missions. Some of the some of the beginning missions they want you to do some mining, and there is a mining laser on this ship. Um, this is really all you need for the Velator to be comfortable. But then, as a, as a course of doing both the Enforcer and the Industrialist. They gifted me this Atron, which is not a bad ship for doing Enforcer missions. Now, if we take a look at the fit, you will see that I still don't have skills to do my capacitor, or do I? Let's check. Nope, still working on energy grid upgrades. That will take a short bit of time, but this is a little recap video. Energy grid upgrade is going to take another eight minutes, and then I'll be able to use that module. And then I've got a repairer, so I can do some armor repair, be an armor tank. And I've got the skills for that, so I should be able to online this. Insufficient power. Not enough power. Awesome. Which means I need this module. And I'm still working on energy grid upgrades. So energy grid upgrades. After about 12 or 13 hours in the game, energy grid upgrades are nowhere to be seen. Awesome. I think we need to take care of that. Train level three. Can I move this higher in the list? Energy grid upgrades gotta be next, and that would be in the next in the next 45 minutes. I'd be able to play. And I started this count, I'd say hmm, about 12 hours ago. So after almost 13 hours in the game. I might be able to fly this Atron. And that's going to be your typical experience in EVE Online. Yeah, I could have kept running missions. Uh, I could have done that in the Velator. Meanwhile, I was getting the skills for the Atron. But, you know, it's going to be your typical experience. 
you're always going to need some kind of skill. Now, what I also need is an auxiliary nanoprompt. Which I don't see any skills for. And it's also kind of expensive, so I really don't have enough money, and I'm not really in the right region to pick it up quickly. So that's going to have to wait. So meanwhile, I run missions on my on my Velator. I'm waiting to get into the Atron, and they also gifted me an Incursus, which I have yet to do anything with. Incursus is a little armor tank. Awesome. So what are the requirements? I'd be able to fly it, so I'd be able to switch between the Incursus or the Atron. I'm gonna have to check out both. I really haven't spent much time in either. But that was my recap with a million isk and three ships after playing the game for about 90 minutes and then waiting for another 14 hours. So this was Captain Ramius for EVE Online. Again, hit me up with a like, subscribe, and share. Uh, check out that uh, referral if you want a million skill points. A million skill points is going to be about a month. It's about a month on an Omega. Yeah, it might even be two months of training on an Alpha. I don't know. I, I really don't know. I'd have, to, I'd have to try that and see how many skill points I get. Uh, but check it out. We'll, we'll catch you later in, a, in a, another video.